Okay. Hi, Degrassi fans. Abby here. I'm in the digital office, and it is 9 o'clock in the morning, and it is chaos in our office. Check out just this tornado that had whirled through our office because Krista's away in Sask uh, Saskatchewan <laughs> uh, today, and I have the whole office to myself, which is amazing, but that also gives me some time to chat with you guys, and I wanted to thank everyone for watching the hangout last night with Stefan and Ramona. It was amazing hearing some of your stories about what Degrassi means to you. Share us, um, share with us what your story is, and we love hearing all your feedback, and you know, having all of you guys around and, and talking about Bittersweet Symphony and talking about uh, the storylines that we've faced this season has um, meant the world to us and has meant the world to me. Like, it makes my job so amazing. Um, of course, there's highs and lows, and the low right now is this office and this mess, but uh, that's it, and I will talk to you guys later, and the highlights reel uh, following this. Bye. Yeah, so Ramona, Ramona's having a, a big having moment, a moment, guys, a big moment. I just want to commend friends. the digital team at Epitome. Abby, Krista, Kyle, you guys have been amazing this whole past three days. The work that you have done is extraordinary. The stuff that you put online and the support that you've given to fans through Twitter and all that stuff, extraordinary. Extraordinary oh, thank work. You. So I thank you. you for that. Oh, thank you. Getting so emotional. <laughs> I was emotional reading everybody's responses. No, like that. You're right. That we that, are so you know, like it's, it, these, touched, these yeah. responses are so amazing. I'm sorry that we haven't been able to answer everything, but mm -hmm. it's like. Uh, yeah, there's so many, and, and we'd love to, um, to everyone in the room. Like, we'd love to go around and just hear, like, maybe just a, a, any yeah. thought or a, anything thought or what you uh, have gotten from the show or anything you'd like to yeah. share with us in the audience watching. So, um, Ashley, is that okay if we start with you? Yeah. So I guess it's really hard to explain in words what Degrassi's done for me since I watched it for uh, such a long time, and I'm so invested with the show and you know doing the fan site and stuff. But I think that. Uh, I don't know, Degrassi's kind of like a little second life for me. Like, it's something that I can go to when I'm having a bad day. I can just put on, a, like, an episode of Degrassi, and I'm, like, it automatically cheers me up. Or, you know, you get really attached to the characters. Like, you, you laugh with them, and you cry with them. And uh, it's, yeah, it's amazing. That's nice of you to say. Yeah. You know, I felt, like, kind of stupid saying community was the one word, but that's what it should feel like. It should feel like... Yeah. You know, Degrassi for what we wanted that experience is to be experience to be is that I wish in a strange way that I mean this, I relate to these because they they remind me of my friends. I wish I had a friend like that. Yeah. That I should be looking for a friend like that, or or this is like my experience. I know that I'm out of high school or going into high school, but it really is about what community should really be. So, but that's really nice of you to say. Yeah, yeah thank, thank you. you. Thank you for producing Degrassi and making Degrassi so wonderful, all of you. Thank you. There's so many people that do such a great yeah. job on this show. Yeah. And we'll hopefully try to get a little bit more of them uh, exposed to, you know, yeah. like the, this this loving community because there's so many brilliant people that work behind the scenes that yeah. have uh, have made this possible. Yeah. And uh, Jamie, go ahead. Um, well, Degrassi has been a huge part of my life since I was a kid, really, and for it to still be su such a huge part of my life as I'm getting older and almost done in college and graduating and getting my bachelor's degree in like a year and a half and I'm still like so emotionally invested in it and the point is like Degrassi says something like it it's doing something right and it says something um, each episode and I know with this last episode that we just saw um, I almost went on I went on a rant like Okay, this kid, he had his issues, and people, and it was like kind of clear that there, that he has problems, and nobody stopped to say, "Hey, what's going on?" They all just kind of went on treating him the way they kind of did, and especially with Zig's last words, Tim, like was I feel like what drove him to kill himself. I mean, and it was like, like to anybody who's ever been cruel to another, do you want to be that person who drives them to that point? Mm -hmm. And I'm always kind of crusading against treating people badly and just like treat people well and it's kind of you see it a lot on Degrassi like kind of the effects on how people how they interact with others and what it does yeah and it just it says something and yeah and it's tough though because you know it's I know a lot of people sort of hate Zig right now and and Zig sort of did like I mean he it's it's he was the guy he, he, the the guy. Yeah. he said the thing and Zig never knew how sick uh and and depressed um 
you know, that, that Cam was. And it's, it's one of those things that's it's, it's important to, to be sensitive and to talk, you know, um, to your fellow man, in a sense. <laughs> And and not just uh, you know throw words words hurt and so and you don't know what what someone's going through, and what you know what condition they're in. So it's it's a it's a tough. That's why this is so tough. Yeah. But and I just, just a lot of people have talked about the zig moment and um, you know what it all means. And there is a story coming up where you will find out and yeah. you will see Zig's um, fallout from that moment. And I think of all the stories we've done, that seems the one I think will help the most, and that's all I'll say. But I like, but I appreciate that though, Jamie. It's a, uh, it, it means like that is that that's a lot of why we do this show. So yeah, um, Carrie, would you like to uh, share with us? Uh, yeah, I've been watching Degrassi for like probably about eight or nine years and been blogging for about half half of that. I give you and... permission to stop watching. You don't have to watch anymore. <laughs> oh, I'll, I'll be Walk watching away. until it ends, till forever. Yay! But, uh, <laughs> but uh, the thing for me is, and I know this is uh, with a lot of people, that Degrassi is more than just some TV show that we – you know, sit down and watch on a Friday night, you know, for 30 minutes. It's a, it is literally like a daily part of my existence. Like I, I make time to discuss with other people about it, to watch it, blog about it, whatever. And, you know, it, it does more than just, you know, it's, to me it's more than just a TV show. I mean, I've developed so many friendships with people, you know, other fans, met other fans, hung out, and it's just a great way for people to, uh, come together and you know do and talk about something that they love and this is what you guys do beyond just creating a show for people to enjoy you create a show for people to enjoy with other people that's yeah, really nice really, to say yeah. too and, yeah. and I must say it really means a lot to us all the, the community that kind of um, that they talk to each other and you know with like you know sites like your own Carrie or like um, Ashley mm -hmm. like your site like it means so much to us to have these places for for us to connect also to the people that are watching the shows yeah. and we appreciate yeah, it. So we, we are constantly want to know what you guys are thinking so we yeah. know where to go to like hear yeah, those we love hear it. those responses uh, positive or negative so yeah mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. Carrie appreciate that though yeah thank, thank you, you. Thank you. Oh, thank you, guys. <laughs> and thanks for joining us. And uh, Kira, go ahead. Can you guys hear me? Yep. Yeah. Awesome. <laughs> no, <laughs> I was going to say, like, Degrassi, it's been a part of my life since I was very young, even, like, the next generation when I was 13. And it, it gave me the freedom to be myself a little bit more. There are, like, so many episodes that I can relate to uh, or new people that could relate to those. And I, I mean, I love Degrassi for being that show that didn't shy away from reality. And... Giving us the giving us fans, you know, that community, even in high school struggling or whatnot, or middle school, or even in undergrad and graduate now. I mean, we still have a community of people, and it's it's great that the show's still on, and I don't want it to ever end. <laughs> Maybe take us to like graduate school one day with uh, characters and everything. But I do thank you guys for having Degrassi and putting on the new episodes and and writing the stories. Thank you very much, and we'll just, we, you know, it's, we, we try to maintain a certain uh, quality of the show because of fans like you that have watched for, for so long, and we know that, like, you guys have, oh, this season, not, like, I hated this season, but I love this season, and the fact that you're saying that we're still trying to, you know, you can, you see that we're trying to maintain that level of quality and, 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 and community and, and try to keep characters that are interesting for you, you know, at this point in your life is really nice for you to say. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And Miranda, maybe your I think your your mic was working a little bit. Because we heard yeah. you sing. Yeah. <laughs> we heard your beautiful singing voice. That was me. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Um, can you hear me now? Yep. Yes. Yes. Perfect. Okay. Um, I'm only 15, so I've been watching the show since I was like four, and. Uh, I mean, back when you were four, <laughs> those episodes I'm sure were just like. So I, clear. This your mind. Yeah. So clear. I mean, my sister. My sister was a little older, so she like watched it with me. But um, I've been watching it ever since, and this show is definitely the show that's made me love film. And every summer, like I go to film camp, and I just I'm like keep on doing this, and I produce, and I like screenwrite, like Mona, and I just I honestly, it's the best show. That's so nice. Uh, that's that's awesome. like. Oh, listen, you know, when I, was doing, when, I was, when I was 13, it made me want to be in this industry also. And it, it's, 
and, and tell stories about what was that? I don't know. Anyways, I, but I, 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 I really appreciate that also, yeah. though, that, you know, and all of you guys out there that are that are looking to, you know, be writers and producers and directors and actors, that, that now's the time to start putting that, re like, resume and pieces together with your friends, you know, and the help of family to, if that's if that's what you want to do. But Ramona's right. You got to, like, get all those. You got to just keep going. Just got to keep going. Yeah. Definitely. But thank you for thank you for hanging with us though. Yeah, thank you so much. And thank you so one, much. Yeah, we just have like one comment um, from Jamie, and maybe we'll get some thoughts from you guys as well. Is uh, and it's from Jamie. Do you want to even share your thought actually to the public, or is that okay? Yeah, go ahead. You can un unmute yourself and go ahead and share it yourself. Okay. Um. Well, what I kind of typed into the chat was. Like growing up, like I like always saw like pieces of me like in all in a lot of the characters. So, like, and I was bullied really bad at school, and I had a lot of rough times growing up. So when I would turn on Degrassi and see, hey, I relate to this character, and this character reminds me of me. So I felt like I'm not so alone, and it was very therapeutic for me to watch it. And now it's like kind of I more comprehending it now as a, as I'm older, like kind of understanding it more um, of what's going on aside from just, hey, this is what I'm going through right now, kind of just coming back and looking at it and just like, I want to like kind of pass that on to other people now. So it's kind of been an inspiring kind of experience for me to have Degrassi a part of my life. That's so nice. Thank and you. I, can, I, I, bet, I bet I could understand what you're saying that like, you know, now that you're, you're watching not being in high school and you're watching the cam go through it, and you're watching another generation in a weird way go through it, and you sort of probably get this strange perspective from it. I can, is that what, sort of what you're saying? Yeah, like, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, it's, well, that's amazing. That's so nice to hear. Yeah, that's absolutely the truth. And how about yourselves? Do you guys have any stories you'd like to share before we wrap this up? And this has been a wonderful uh, chat, and thank you to everyone that's in this room and for everyone's comments. Um, it has been a really, really uh, emotional three days for, for everyone at Epitome and for myself personally even. Like it's been a lot and, and I think a lot of the support um, from, you know, fans like yourselves and fans like myself, you know, that um, it's it's nice to know that there's, there's that conversation mm -hmm. happening and, and especially like, you know, yeah. all of us have been going through this. And congratulations yeah. to the writers and Ramona for like a really, uh, I think a really well constructed, uh, uh, it's a, a great season if you ask me. I think season 12 is phenomenal. Mm -hmm. And it's, mm -hmm. it's uh, but this has really been uh, like a special thing because the stories, the, the, they're, they're, they're super hard to tell and I think I you do, guys have done an amazing job. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Amazing job. Thank you all for your comments and your feedback and, and everything that's been sent to me on Twitter, Tumblr. Um, you know, it's been it's been an interesting experience. It was hard at times um, to write it, but I'm glad that you have received it the way we intended it to be and that hopefully it's something that you'll continue to talk about with your friends, maybe share it with your parents or your family. Um, and, you know, I think it's a really useful tool um, to continue having this conversation and just, you know, lifting everyone up. Yeah. We really appreciate this because, uh, and all your reactions have been so positive because, you know, we're, we wanted to do right by you also. So it's, it's one of those things where we're really glad that you, you your, your experience was the right experience for the most part watching, watching, uh, even though it was hard and you cried. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And sorry. And just one last thought from uh, Miranda. She said she wanted to share something with us. Go ahead. Yeah. I also wanted to thank Abby because I love what you do. Um, I love that you made this possible. And um, in school, I'm part of almost every club. And usually, I'm the communications coordinator and like the social media manager. So I do exactly what you do and hope to be doing that in the future. So um, it's possible. It's all possible. Abby's the poop. <laughs> You're great. Thank you. <laughs> no, no, but you know, none of it would be possible without this uh, kind of like you guys all here um, that, that make it possible and make it so much fun. Um, yeah, so thank you guys so much, and I guess we're going to wrap it up. And um, I'm really excited to do this again. And, and if you guys are up for it another time, you know, Absolutely. maybe we'll have a, maybe. We'll have a repeat. <laughs> you guys wanted a reunion episode, right? Huh? Huh? I'm ready. I'm going to go. <laughs> nice talking to you okay, guys. Bye, guys. Bye. Man, spinner forever. They're